your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. For the first time this work week, most of us had temperatures in the 80s today. We are going to cool down tomorrow, but more 80s will move back into the area starting Saturday and then continuing right through the middle part of next week. Right now, we're looking at just a couple of leftover 80s, including a reading of 80 in Shano and in Mountain. It is currently 79 in Sturgeon Bay, and we're looking at 75 degrees in Fond du Lac. It was another beautiful day across northeast Wisconsin. We had a mixture of sunshine and some fair weather cumulus clouds. A little bit of smoke starting to creep back into uh, the sky there compared to yesterday's bright blue skies. Dew point still comfortable this afternoon, mainly in the mid 50s, but that dew point will be going up as we head into this upcoming weekend. The satellite picture this evening shows mostly sunny skies across the state. High pressure still in control of our weather, but our next weather maker is now approaching from the west. Underneath that weather maker today, we had lots of clouds, on and off showers and thunderstorms, and cooler conditions. High temperatures only in the 60s to lower 70s. Now, as you take a look at Storm Shield radar, you can see it doesn't look really impressive right now. We've got some scattered showers to the south, and we've got some hit or miss showers and thunderstorms across the northern plains, but this area of showers and thunderstorms will become better organized as we head throughout the night and into tomorrow. Just a few showers now popping up to the south and west of Minneapolis. Skycast shows lots of sunshine for the rest of the evening hours. Increasing clouds overnight and then tomorrow, cloudy skies with on and off showers and thunderstorms throughout the morning, afternoon and evening. That activity will actually continue into tomorrow night as well. And this brings us to your Friday night's lights forecast here. We can expect temperatures to be in the 60s for high school football with on and off showers and possibly a thunderstorm. We'll also see gusty winds. Now this system does have the potential to produce a significant amount of rain across much of the viewing area by early Saturday morning. It looks like most spots will probably pick up about a half an inch to an inch of rain. A little bit heavier where we see some thunderstorms, a little bit less where we don't see any thunderstorms at all. And many of us could uh, see some rain. This is the brand new U.S. drought monitor just in today. Shows abnormally dry conditions from the Fox Valley north and west. Temperature wise tomorrow, it will be cooler with the clouds and the on and off chances for rain. High temperatures will only be in the 60s to around 70 degrees. Showers and a few thunderstorms continue tomorrow night into Saturday morning, and then it looks like we will break into a mixture of clouds and sunshine by Saturday afternoon. That sunshine along with a westerly wind will usher in warmer temperatures compared to what we're going to see on Friday. Most of us will climb up into the upper 70s to lower 80s. So your forecast for tonight calls for increasing clouds. Not as cool as the last couple of nights. Overnight lows only in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Tomorrow, cloudy and windy with on and off showers and thunderstorms. So it's not going to rain all day, but there's going to be that chance of rain all day. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 68. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Care Share Food Pantry in Gillette, and we did that today. I forecast 81, and the actual high temperature was 81 degrees. On Saturday, morning clouds and showers, and then sun and clouds by the afternoon, a high around 80. Sun and clouds and humid on Sunday, mid to upper 80s, chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. We can expect more of the same then for Monday and Tuesday. Temperature is staying in the 80s, and then a chance for a shower or a storm on Wednesday and Thursday. Any thunderstorms that develop next week, John, could be on the strong to severe side with locally heavy. Heavy rain. Not great yard mowing weather over the next three days, I don't think. Not really. Saturday afternoon, and then you'll have a chance on Sunday in between some hit or miss storms. Trying to uh, avoid those raindrops. Yes. All right, Cameron, thanks so much. Well, coming up, are you planning to go to any Packers games this